So first things first, we wrote a one right there. We use the property of product of powers, which is they have the same base, so we add the exponents. So you wrote two to the fourth, is that correct? And when we simplify, that means we're gonna multiply two times itself four times. So two times two is four, four times four is 16. This one, exponent of one, we add the exponents because we have the same base here and here. So this becomes x to the fourth. Okay. How about this one? Copy this. Two to the third times two to the fifth. Same thing with the variable. X to the third times x to the fifth. Okay, share that with your neighbor, and then I'll pick somebody to help me out. Okay, what'd you get for this? Can you give me first the exponential expression before the simplification? You added three and five, two to the eight, 256, hands if you got that. Okay, how about this one? You add 3 and 5, x to the 8. Okay, Hans, if you got that. Okay, we get the hang of it, right? And the last one, just to prove the point of this property, write this down. 2 to the 4th times x cubed times 2 times x to the 8. Okay, let's do this one together. Do you see that we can use the commutative property and then associative property? Okay, if you don't see it, check this out. I'm gonna move this one here and this one there. So this becomes two to the fourth times, and I'm gonna add my one right here just so I won't forget, times two to the first times x cubed times x to the eighth. Now let's use associative property, these two and these two. So what does this become? Four plus one, five, so this is two to the fifth times x cubed times x to the eight becomes x to the 11 because they're the same base and we add the exponent. So let's simplify this one. What is two times two? What is four times four? Times two? Very good, 32 x to the 11. So think about this. We, we used a rule throughout this entire property, right? Okay, so if I was to ask you to come up with your definition, okay, think about it. What would be your definition for product of powers? Think about it. Think like if you're gonna explain it to somebody that wasn't here. Let's say your BFF isn't here. They come in and you're like, okay, well the product of powers is 
that you got to. So with that said, explain it to your neighbor. What's your definition for product of powers property? So they said when multiplying numbers or variables of the same base, we add the exponent. Did we do that? Yeah, right? Same base, we added the exponent. Same base, we added the exponent. Since these were different bases, we just used the, uh, the uh, commutative property and then the associative property to use the property of the product of power. Okay? So with that said, copy these down. You do these by yourself, please. Go. Let's see. A. First of all, all exponential expression, if they have the same base, we add the exponents. This becomes 3 to the 7. Okay? But our next step is to simplify this. So therefore, 3 squared is 9. This one is 3 squared times 3 squared times 3. Is that correct? So therefore, or 3 to the first. 3 squared is 9, and 3 squared is 9. So 9 times 9 is 81, times 9, that's 729, is that correct? And then we multiply at the end times 3, that's 7, we got 2, that's 6, plus 2, that's 8, that's 21. So who got 2,187? That is correct, okay? Letter B. First of all, commutative property. We're going to go ahead and bring the 2 over here, bring the 3 over here. So you should have written 2 to the 4th times 2 to the negative 2 times 3 to the 4th times 3 squared. Associative property. I'm going to associate these and these. So are these the same base? Yes, so what is 4 minus 2? Two? 2, so this is 2 squared times 3 to the what? To the 6th power. And over here we have 3 squared, 3 squared, 3 squared, that's 3 to the 6th was what? 729, so this is 729 times 4. So at the end, who got... 4 times 9, that's 36. We got 3. 4 times 2, that's 8. Plus 3, that's 11. We got 1. 4 times 10, 28. Plus 1, 29. 2,916. Okay? All right? Not bad. Do this next one by yourself. Do them, please. So once again, homework. Pages 412, 413, 1 through 5, 18 to 21.